um, I wanted to just do a quick video. Um, I've got Scar out, she's literally just shed today. So she is looking pretty damn fine. Um, so we actually call her Anya now, but um, her name in her previous house was Scar. Um, and that, if you can see, is Y. So just down her body here, she has got some pretty nasty scarring. Although I'm going to say that that has improved even more from this shed. Um, obviously this happened before we got her. Um, it was caused by um, a heat source which didn't have a thermostat connected to it. Um, but this girl is looking pretty good. Um, so I thought I'd just get her out and she was just quite a nice snake to get out and say hello really. Um, so my main, main reason for the video is to... I want to get Izzy out um, and have a palpate of her to see if she's got anything going on. Her behaviour has been strange recently, last few weeks. Um, she's usually very active, very interested in what's going on in the room. She'll come up and watch, um, which is fantastic. Um, but she's been a lot more defensive than normal um, the past few weeks. She's actually striked at the, at the glass a couple of times. But that's not normal behaviour for Izzy at all. Um, so she hasn't been paired this year. It is breeding season currently um, and I'm wondering whether she might be cycling. Um, we do know that they can retain sperm for quite some time, um, some for years after they have actually been with a male. Um, so that could mean that she could lay, an egg, lay a clutch of eggs that are fertile. Could also mean that if she cycles and ovulates that she will lay a clutch of eggs that are not fertile as well. Um, so we call those slugs, um, eggs that aren't fertile. Um, so I need to just see basically what's going on with her. Um, so let's do it. Stop putting it off. I'm going to get her out and let's have a feel, see what's going on. So let's see what sort of mood she's in. Now, first of all, what I'll always do is just put the hook in, give her a bit of stroke and see the kind of reaction that I get from her. Um, because if she's kind of not in the mood to come out, she will soon let me know. Um, so, I mean, she seems pretty all right here at the moment. So, if I can get her to come out. Oh, she is very strong. So, here we go. This is Izzy. She is tail on the floor and head almost on the floor too. Ooh. She's knocking over bits of wood. She is spectacular, as you can see. Very big and very strong also. Um, and yeah, so this is her. I will stop her going around my neck, so obviously I don't particularly want that. So, just catch my breath. She has been acting a bit strange, so the main idea of getting her out today was to have a feel down her really and see if she's got any follicles growing. Um, so that's the aim of the game. I'm not going to be able to hold her and do that at the same time. Um, so sorry about that. But I will put her back in a sec when she's had a little out for a little when she's been out for a sec and um see if she's got anything grown i mean she does feel quite full back here um and she's not had a feed for a little while so i suspect <laughs> i suspect that she may be building follicles but we shall see um the last time she cycled so she had eggs last year and by this time she laid in April so she would have been well on the way by now. Um, she hasn't been paired this year um, but they can retain sperm as we know um, so that is something that I'm kind of hoping that she hasn't done. I wasn't planning on ble breeding these guys again hence why I haven't paired her. Um, but we shall see so 
let's get her back, have a little feel of her and see if we can feel any follicles or see what's going on. So this is much easier. Still out of breath because I had a bit of a wrestle with her going back in. So she went in quite quickly. So I wasn't able to palpate her really well. Um, I don't think I could feel a lot of follicles. If there was, I think they're quite immature and hopefully that is because um, she's reabsorbing them. Um, but I did see that she was lying slightly uncomfortably this morning. So I wouldn't like to say 100% either way, to be honest, because like I said, she went in really quickly. I didn't really get a good chance to get, have a good feel of her and where I would have liked to. So we'll see, time will tell. Um, no answer really for, as to why she's been a bit grumpy. Um, probably because she wants to pair and she hasn't found a male yet, maybe. Um, but I'll just give her some space. She'll come out the other side of it in a, you know, in a little while when, when it warms up properly and the weather gets better. Um, she'll kind of come out of that way of thinking, hopefully. So I thought we'd say goodbye with Tallulah because Tallulah is obviously a little bit easier to handle although she is still very active being a um, reticulated python. Um, so it's quite crazy to think that she will one day be the same size as Izzy. Um, Tallulah has got a much better disposition, I find, generally as a snake. Um, she is still a reticulated python, so she can be a little bit reactive. Um, but once she realises that you're not going to feed her um, and that you're not a threat, um, she's really quite placid and an absolute joy to handle as you can see. Um, really love this girl. So when I got to Lula, she was um, apparently six months old, but she was really small. So she was um, probably smaller than the hatchlings actually from last year. Um, a lot smaller and very thin. Um, she was like kind of the width of my finger actually. Um, so yeah, this is her. She had a bit of a mite issue too, which we obviously kept her segregated from the rest and sorted that really quickly and really easily just by soaking her um, and keeping her in a very sterile um, enclosure. Um, there's really good videos on how to go into mite treatment, so I won't be doing that today. Um, yeah, so this is Tallulah, I absolutely love her. Um, and I've actually got a painting of her that I asked um, someone to do so I'll put a link to um, that artist um, arena she's called fantastic um, she actually drew Beatrice Tiggy and Tallulah for me painted them so um, those pictures will be going up in the new snake room so kind of what I'm thinking about that we will be moving um, we've sold this house and we will be moving hopefully in the next month um, just waiting for all the usual hold-ups really um, but yeah I will be having a snake room which is um, at the moment it's kind of half the floor space of the house kind of under the house next to the garage so that's going to be really cool currently it's set up as a gym um, which my husband would probably like to keep but obviously the snakes take priority so sorry about that love um, so yeah that creaking you can hear is uh, Izzy going into her bed. Um, yeah, so we'll be moving new snake room, which is a lot bigger than this, probably double the size. Um, so I'll be doing some pretty exciting stuff going forward in terms of upgrades. And what I really want to do is make Izzy a kind of room height enclosure that she can kind of climb in and mooch around in more. I mean, she's in a decent size enclosure. Enclosure. This one is eight by three by three so she, so for her size I suppose it's you know fairly standard um, to what most people would kind of give them but I would like to see her climbing really um, with some basking heat proper basking heat that she can climb up for um, and just try and see some of those natural behaviours which we've seen with um, ginger with having that overhead heat it's really um, been incredible to watch her behaviour change with the difference between belly and um, overhead heat, fantastic. Um, she'll often, early morning, she'll be up in a tree getting early morning heat from that heat bulb and then she'll kind of 
slope off and disappear till night time and she'll come out to hunt. So yeah, really interesting. Um, so I'd like to try and mimic that for Izzy if we can, but obviously on a much bigger scale. Um, so that's something that I'm looking forward to doing. Not sure what Tallulah's up to. Um, I'm going to leave it there. So thank you for watching the video. Like it if you like it. Subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Um, share the video to other social media platforms um, if you think you know people that might enjoy this type of content as well. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you again.